it's Earth Grammy here, and look at who I'm standing in front of. Isn't he incredible? This is the troll that's done by this very, very internationally world reclaimed artist, recycle artist, Thomas Dambo from Denmark. And it is a magnificent thing. It's showing you all the things that can be done in recycling, that you never have to put anything such as wood in trash. Look at this, it's amazing. Come see, it's all over in the area of Seattle and Vashon Island, and I think Issaquah. There are different trolls everywhere. So come enjoy it. Mwah. of scrap wood that has the potential to be recycled is driven to the landfill every year. It takes approximately five tons of scrap wood to build one of my trolls. So I could build 2.4 million trolls a year from the scrap wood from the United States alone, right? That's pretty many trolls. And probably more trolls than we need. But my point is not that we should build 2.4 million trolls a year. It is that we could build houses and playgrounds and furniture and we could build the future for from all of this wood. Could we make so many better things than just grow our landfills? I believe that you can make anything out of anything and that there is no such thing as trash. Yet we are living in a world that's running out of resources while the same world is drowning in trash. If you think about it, the world is running out of resources and drowning in trash. That's a super, super sad contradiction. But there is a saying that one person's trash is another person's treasure. And if we would all learn to understand the true meaning of this, that trash is a treasure, that trash equals wealth, it equals opportunity, then we would also understand that we don't live in a world that's filled with trash, but in a world that's filled with wealth and opportunity to build a better future for our world. Mm -hmm. I think that the reason why we don't understand this is because we've all grown up in a society that have taught us that trash is dirty, disgusting, and dangerous. We've been taught that trash is worthless, and we've been always putting those people who work with trash at the bottom of our social structure, and at the bottom of our payroll. So no parent want to hear their child say, I want to work on this landfill, <laughs> right? So if we want to save our world from drowning in trash, we have to change that perspective completely and learn to love our trash for the valuable resource that our trash is. I found my dream of becoming an artist in a trash can. <laughs> trash is a treasure. Trash can make you a millionaire and trash can make dreams come true. But treated without caution, trash is treacherous and can drown the world. And so I will end my little talk with a simple call to action. <clears throat> Look what's being thrown out around you. At the restaurant where you work, the school where you teach, at the factory where you work, or maybe the factory that you own. Take responsibility for your trash. Take a photo of your trash. Share it with your friends, your family, and your world so you can try and find that person for whom the content of your trash can is a treasure. Because if you don't do so, you might be throwing out someone's dream next time the dump truck comes to enter and empty your trash can. Thank you. Yeah.